In today's Madden 21 video, I'm going to be breaking down what I believe to be one of the best passing plays in Madden NFL 21, and it comes from the Arizona Cardinals offensive guide that I wrote, which you can pick up in the description if you want to get the entire scheme. It's both offense and defense, over 100 pages of breakdowns. That link is in the description. What's up, guys? My name's Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. If you don't know what I do here at YouTube, what I do is I basically post uh, four videos every single day on my channels that are designed to help you uh, teach you some kind of concept about Madden 21, some type of tip or strategy that you can employ in your own game. And so if that is something that interests you, I would encourage you to go ahead and click subscribe because, again, we post four times a day and we live stream every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Alright guys, I wanted to talk about the gun cluster and specifically this playbook has a lot of really, this formation really has a couple of really unique things that you can do from it. Cluster is a lot different in my opinion than it was last year. There's a lot more um, nuances to it. There's a lot more things that I think you need to be aware of. Rollout corners is not as powerful as it was last year, at least in my opinion, but this mesh post play is still very, very effective from the shotgun cluster formation. And there's literally no adjustments that you have to make. What we're going to do on defense here is we are going to come out in a cover two man. And we're going to show you how this defense or this offense literally beats every coverage that you're going to face in Madden 21. Now, in the ebook, we go over uh, gun spread. We go over gun trips. We go over pretty much every formation in Arizona. We also have a nasty two back scheme and five wide scheme for you as well. But this is a cluster play. This is kind of a little bit of a mini scheme to this. But basically what you can do with this play right here, literally, like I said, you don't need to do anything stock. The only thing that I would recommend is taking your tight end and putting him on a slant pattern. Um, that's going to help with separation against man to man. And what you'll see here is the tight end will, as long as you have a fast receiver or a fast tight end there, he will work like a mutt that's going to get open. But he is going up against the best corner on the Packers. Now, Devontae Adams, which you'll see here, he is going to crush man to man. Now, one little thing I want you to know about that route. You have to understand the timing of the mesh routes this year. Mesh routes, in my opinion, are very, very uh, tricky but can be some of the best routes in the entire game. So what you don't want to do is what I'm about to do right here. If you see him coming open right here, don't throw that because what's going to happen is it's going to basically lead him up the field and he's not going to get the separation that you want him to do. If you look on the play art, you see that his mesh route is going to hitch up at the hash mark. So what that tells you is once he passes the hash mark, that's when you can make that throw against man to man. So I'm going to wait. He passes the hash mark. And then now, as you see, and that's what I'm talking about. You see, if you get that wrong, if you get that choice wrong, he's going to, he is going to wheel up. Now it's actually very, very useful in my opinion. And I don't know if this will show on this, but um, if you can actually master this, what can happen is if he looks covered, you can actually pass lead him up and um, he can actually beat the man-to-man -man coverage. But anyway, what we'll do is we'll show you this real quick. So if they, you know, if they shade coverage uh, down or whatever, you're going to see that this post route on the backside is going to get wide open against man as well. It doesn't matter route running or anything. That route beats man consistently no matter what they're going to do. So most of the time they're going to take that route. But what you'll find here is this little quick shoot route to the back is very effective uh, against man to man. You also have the mesh crossers come in underneath. And then real quick what you have, if they take the safeties away, what you'll find here is this route to Marquez Vada Scantling. The only thing I like to do on this play is motion him to the right and kind of snap it as he's in motion. And what you'll see here is against man man-to-man -man coverage um, oftentimes once he gets to the sideline you can actually lob this up and his 93 speed is going to roast man-to-man -man. now what i would recommend is running your cluster to the wide side of the field so as you saw right there he got a little caught up um, if i am on the left hash you'll see that i can run this play very very effectively um, let me show you this real quick so i'm just going to take the safety away because maybe i'm trying to stop that mesh route to Devonte adams and what you'll see is if they're if there's not shading coverage over top if they're shading that coverage underneath, what you'll see is uh, Marquez Vada scaling. As long as they don't get a crazy throw out of sack animation, he is going to torch the uh, the man-to-man -man press. So uh, if you're facing something like bench press or something like that, where people are you know really trying to press you, this little route, in my opinion, can do a great work for you. Uh, what you'll see here, getting on the outside, he gets that nice little cut. 
and you swerve catch and you get over the top of the defense as you can see right there so you're able to beat man you're able to also beat zone this play is actually better against zone than it is against man in my opinion this quick shoot route to the back ironically i feel like this if they don't have hard flats throw it every single time because literally it is borderline impossible for them to stop that for under 10 yards if they don't have hard flats. If they don't have hard flats, get it out there. You're going to get at least four to five to maybe six yards. Most of the time, especially if they're running like cover two, you're going to get a great, you're going to get like probably, um, you're probably going to get somewhere in the midst of, you know, 10 to 15 yards if they're in cover two on that with the cloud flats. So, you know, this is just a phenomenal play against zone coverage. Now against zone coverage, uh, one of the other things you need to know, uh, one sec, this is a man read. So you see here, get him on the outside there, and you're just going to run it, run him out of bounds. But if they um, if they run zone coverage, like say they run cover three, uh, let me show you what happens against cover three here. So you can motion snap out of Scantling again, just kind of get him out there just on that nice little wheel route. That's going to help with spacing. But this post route is going to be every single zone in the game. And basically, it's a two-man read. You're either going to get it to the post, or you're going to get it to the underneath crossing routes uh, against most defenses. So like cover three, cover two, uh, those kind of defense you see how these mesh routes really sit they just kind of sit in open space that's why i love this place so much and it's hard to use her because you got two of them and so literally just wait they're going to settle up and noose and you can low ball either one of those hitches again as long as practice mode does not screw up the entire uh, entirety of the tip thanks to the good old super sheds that practice mode allows you to get uh, you won't see sheds like this in the game unless you know you don't have edge threat edge protectors on your on your outside guys if you're playing in mud. But what you'll see is, and, and if they you know let's just say they maybe stop it. You see here I can playmaker it up the field, and oftentimes Devonte Adams will actually be able to get open, um, you know because the play's going to basically break down. But again. This is all um, in the midst of them not covering. Most of the time, one of those yellows is going to go back, and he's going to cover Devon um, or uh, Funchess's route, the post route. So you're going to be able to easily work up and down the field on this thing right here. Uh, here's cover three cloud. And again, these this wheel route is really more of like a, a play for match coverage. You know, when they're running match coverage, you'll find that wheel route oftentimes will get open. Um, but even if they're like, let's just say they're in cover three, if I get him out here enough, uh, what you'll see is I can actually get it out uh, quick, but either one of these crossing routes, and you can actually throw those little drags up the field uh, easily against any of these zones. So this is just a simple, this is honestly, it's just a yard game. This play is going to get you yards, um, get you positive yards in Madden 21. So anyways, guys, I just want to encourage you, if you have not already joined our texting membership, it's completely free to do that. You can click the link in the, or you can um, text the number above, 812-216-3644, and that's going to get you free Madden 21 tips and tricks every single week that is not shared on my YouTube channel. I don't share it. Uh, with any of my subscribers i don't share it with any of my discord members i only share it with text members so if you want to join that community if you want to join that and be part of that i would encourage you to do that it's a lot of um it's just a valuable resource in my opinion for you um, just another you know, kind of another layer of everything so i'd love for you to be able to join that but dude um please pick up this arizona competitors guide it's the madden 21 competitive guide in the description of this video it comes with my whole arizona offensive scheme it also comes with my whole defensive scheme from the 46 playbook which what you'll find as you look around the community that is probably the the playbook of choice for a lot of people and so there's a reason why we dive deep into that as well uh, in the ebook. So if you haven't picked up the ebook yet, I want to encourage you to go ahead and do that today. Um, again, we've had a lot of great feedback. One of the guys said it's the best $25 he's ever spent. We've taken people that were throwing, you know, for three interceptions, maybe 100 yards, maybe 50 yards, and we've turned them into passers who are throwing for over 400 yards um, and with over 158.3 quarterback rating. So it's just been amazing to see what we've been able to do in such a short time. And I just want to encourage you if you're you're sitting there and you want to pass the ball at a high level and you want to be able to consistently stop the run and consistently be able to send pressure and consistently be able to stop people i want to encourage you to pick up my man 21 competitors guide thank you guys so much for your time today i hope you enjoyed the video i hope it was helpful and again pick up the guide we'll see you guys uh, on tonight's live stream at 10 o'clock p.m eastern